Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk about GitHub Copilot, which is one of the most favorite extensions on VS Code and in AI world these days. But I would discuss why it is a bad extension or why it is a bad software for you. And this might offend a small percentage of my subscriber base. So I would really recommend you to watch or listen the whole thing which I have to say because there are things that I believe would make sense to you as well. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So let's start from the starting. What exactly is GitHub Copilot? Well, GitHub Copilot is a extension in a way or a piece of software, which is a smart intelligence. That is all it is. It is a smart intelligence that works on artificial intelligence and that has been trained on millions of GitHub public repositories. Now, how that works is that it has been trained to just include your, or you know just understand the context of the code which you're writing for example it can auto complete parts of code for you it can create code snippets from scratch you can tell github copilot to say that hey write a function that checks if a number is prime or not just write this command and it will write the function now github copilot is great but it's not great for two kinds of developers the first kind of developer is someone who's a beginner who's a newbie and who's trying to get started with programming and the second kind of developer github copilot is not good for is someone who's trying to do some serious coding who's trying to you know build some algorithm or something which is which is a little bit critical and i'm going to discuss both these use cases with you today let's start with the beginner or the newbie case because that i feel is a lot of my audience as well in a way because a lot of you are aspiring developers a lot of you are trying to become good developers improve your skill sets github copilot does well in that case but let's understand how it works for you as a beginner developer let's say you're understanding or let's say you're trying to get into html and css what you can say to github copilot in a text editor is build a css button build a button which is blue in color and has this 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 label you do that it will spit out code awesome the problem here is that what you have effectively done is reduced steps to go to google search for how to build a button in html search for how to add color in css to a button and copy paste snippets from stack overflow into your text editor these are the steps which you have reduced which is in fact great because you now saved time you save time because all of this is happening within your editor but there's an important distinction here that is that when you use an extension like github copilot and if you do not understand what has been outputted which is most likely the case because our base assumption is that you are someone who's trying to get into programming or who's trying to get into software development chances are that you do not understand each and every aspect of the code which the copilot spit out that means if the code is working if the code is functional you would not even look back at the code right almost like copying pasting a function or an answer from stack overflow or any other website and never looking back at it and one of the most important things as a developer as a new aspiring developer you can do is to never copy paste code which you don't fundamentally understand it's okay to copy paste it initially but do not ship it or do not use it until and unless you have gotten a rough or a basic idea of how that code works you should not be copying pasting black box code into your projects into your editor and so on github copilot makes it transparent right it would seem like you have written that code you will feel like you have written that code in reality you have not and you will you know just be stuck with code which is probably written by someone else in some other repository or you know just ai generated as well might as well so that is the first problem the second problem is again which is less obvious is that because github copilot has been trained on millions of free repositories it has potentially also be trained on insecure code right so i'm not saying that you know all the code outputted by github copilot might be insecure but yeah it might be insecure in a way that let's say you are asking it to write a sql query for extracting out name and uh, email from you know a table named users right with where the name and the email parameters are supplied by user if github copilot outputs a query which is you know based on string concatenation of user input that is insecure right you have suddenly exposed your code to sql injection without even knowing it without even understanding what sql injections are and everything so that is another drawback of having copilot or having ai based assistance 
where AI is artificial in nature. It's not secure. It's not trained on secure coding practices. It's not trained on, you know, best coding practices. It's just being fed a huge data set of available code based libraries. And it's just learning from everyone, right? That is another thing. It's less obvious. It's less common, but it still impacts you as a beginner, as a newbie developer. My two cents for you as a beginner developer for using GitHub Copilot or something like this is that you should, if you want to, but avoid it when you are into your learning or even in your project building phase where you're trying to you know just learn something or you know just build your own skills because that help gets a little too much i feel for beginners you should push yourself not let an ai attach some training wheels to your cycle and you know just feel like that you are doing all of that yourself it is a great extension if you are trying to build or if you know what you are doing to speed up your workflows to prototype you know just to release software but if you are into a learning phase i would like recommend turning it off for that particular time the next set of people which i do not recommend and which probably also would have realized by now is serious developers who are trying to build something interesting right this has something which i have also faced personally when you have github copilot installed and it's working whenever i'm trying to work on something right some sort of algorithm or some sort of implementation of, of custom logic i have a certain mind map i have a certain structure in my brain that yes this needs this code i will write first the first step is this the second step is that and github copilot a lot of times intervenes and bugs me that this is the query or this is the code which you have to write if i'm giving it a split second pause and what happens at that point is that if i am a developer i'm into a flow mode, a flow mode is basically like where I'm just, you know, fully focused, fully concentrated in what I'm doing. I don't want that suggestion. It's almost like someone just speaking me from the back and saying that, oh, you should write this code, not this code. I don't want that. If I'm someone who knows what I'm going to write, I just need to think and I just need to speed up. That is all I need. And the speed up part can come from the IntelliSense, which is built into the editor. I don't need full code snippets outputting to my IDE screens. That is like super distracting. That one thing is super distracting from GitHub Copilot. And I feel like, I mean, I don't have the GitHub Copilot installed now. I have removed it long time ago because for the most part, IntelliSense feels okay to me. And I don't feel like having an AI assistance as a developer who knows what he's doing on at least the code base for JavaScript and TypeScript and these languages. So yeah, I mean, that is also a second set of audience which I feel should not use a lot of GitHub Pilot, but I'm not concerned about them that much because I feel any serious developer, anyone who has used GitHub Copilot inside of a code base where you are trying to code something important, you would have realized that yourself. If you have someone like that, just let me know in the comments if you think that is the case, because I am the one who feel that way that GitHub Copilot bugs more more than it helps for senior developers or someone who knows what they are doing and for beginner developers it just doesn't make sense to use it while you are learning things for any other use case for you know just speeding up through small prototype demos or creating some automation scripts or doing some sort of scraping or something like the homepage demo shows it's a great tool it's a great AI enhancement, AI advancement, but I just don't see it like replacing a lot of senior developer things and security practices and best practices, at least not right now. I mean, we could not have seen GPT-3 coming five years, 10 years back. So we probably can't even see, maybe like this gets so much better than this can actually output code, but that would probably be the end of everything because if AI can generate codes better than the best human developers can, then basically all of you just lost your jobs, <laughs> which I am not saying that would be the case because, because I feel like getting software to code software is probably the hardest thing. It's probably the hardest and most difficult thing. Software to code, great software, not just, you know, what GPT-3 outputs or Codex outputs right now through Copilot. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I think I have expressed my views in the most explained way possible if you agree let me know in the comments if you disagree just let me know why do you think i was wrong that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching